What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is the Sony XBR TV that I fixed a couple weeks ago using these thermal pads. Well, I thought it fixed the TV using these thermal pads, but indirectly it kind of fixed it, but it wasn't actually the fix that fixed this TV. And But because I put these thermal pads on the board, it indirectly fixed the TV, which is kind of funny. Uh, Frugal Repair sent me a comment and when he posted that comment, it made me question, did these really fix the TV and why would it lower the temperature that much? It was 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is enough to burn your finger. But why would a thermal pad lower the temperature enough to make it work for days on end? I had this TV on overnight for days and it didn't turn off and it didn't overheat. So I'm gonna go over what I did to actually fix this TV and thanks to Frugal Repair to make me inquire more about what I did so I know next time and for you guys to know, that's why I'm making this video. And so hopefully this video would help you guys out in the future. If it does, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out. Check out Frugal Repair. He has a great tech channel. And also check out Big Dog because he did a few repairs on the Sony XBR TV that may interest you guys. I found out this TV was previously repaired. This was actually an outdoor TV. And what was repaired on this TV before I touched it was the main board was replaced. And when you have an outdoor TV, sometimes you get condensation building up inside the TV. The TV could be inside a patio where it doesn't get rained on at all, but because it's an outdoor TV, you might still get condensation building up inside on the circuit boards inside the TV, which is not good. So when I got the TV, the TV was running for about 20 minutes and would turn off. And so I used my thermal camera and found out there was really hot parts on the power supply board. Well, actually the LED driver board. The power supply is actually a power adapter that you see right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the power. My logic was, let me go ahead and put these thermal pads on, see if I could get the heat transferred from the thermal pad to the heat shield right here. See how it's recessed right here? So that basically presses up against these parts and transfers the heat from the component to the heat shield. And that tends to lower the temperature on these components right here. But when I did that, this is what I did. I'll show you basically. So before I used the thermal pads, what I did is I used electronic cleaner and I cleaned those components. So the thermal pads will stick better. And I cleaned it like that. Just like that. And I wiped it down and wait for it to dry. And then I went ahead and put on the thermal pads. What I didn't realize was by cleaning the components, I actually cleaned off the condensation residue that was left behind. And I believe that was causing a slight short on these components, causing them to heat up the way they did. And because the, all that residue was cleaned off, the components actually were working properly and I didn't really need to use these thermal pads at all. So just to show you, I'm going to take this off and I did solder all the solder joints so they had better connection because they looked a little dull and they didn't look bad, but I just cleaned them up and I added some fresh solder on them just in case. But I, I believe the, by cleaning it with electronic cleaner, it got rid of that residue. So any information that you get when you get the TV is helpful information to help you diagnose the TV or troubleshoot the TV. So always ask questions. If you grab the TV, always ask questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these screws on so, that, so the circuit board is grounded to the TV. So everything is plugged in here, 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 and here, and here. And let me go ahead and take all the thermal pads off so you guys get an idea. And then I'm also going to raise the brightness because he said, hey, maybe you lowered frugal repair. So, hey, maybe um, by lowering the brightness that helped 
with the uh, temperature. Yeah, by lowering the backlight brightness and you know the circuit um, settings and you know, picture settings that can um, cause less stress on these components, which can lower the temperature on the components. So that's actually a good point. Turn the TV on. So when you see that white light, that lets you know that the TV is on. The temperatures are around 100 and they're steady. So nothing too crazy, right? All right, let's go to settings. Now it is recommended to update the main logic board. So if you do fix the TV, always update the main logic board using the Wi-Fi internet settings and set it to auto update. I have it set to standard. I have auto picture mode off and I lowered the brightness to 15. But let's go ahead and raise it and see if it raises the temperature. And I have the light sensor turned off. That's just ambient light detecting the lights in the room. And it'll make the picture bright and dark and bright and dark depending on the light in the room. And see right here, the brightness is set. The contrast doesn't really matter. The motion doesn't really matter either. I noticed it doesn't have a backlight setting. It just has a brightness setting and a Black level could be the backlight. So let me go ahead and raise that as, see when I raise that, that's actually the backlights. And you really want that low. But raising that up, of course, is gonna raise the temperature. So let's go ahead and grab my thermal camera and see if that actually overheats it to, let's see if that overheats it to 200 Fahrenheit. All right, here's my thermal camera. Let's see if I'm past 100 degrees. So it was steady around 100 degrees. Let's see what the temperature is now. It does actually increase the temperature. Oh, uh, you don't see that actually. <laughs> I see it, but you don't. Let me uh, take a picture of it. So right here, you can see that it's really working hard right here. So that's kind of interesting I'm gonna leave the TV on for around 20 minutes and see if the TV turns off so I set my timer on my watch I'm gonna come back in about 20 minutes or so and see what the temperatures are all right time is up the temperature really hasn't risen as fast as before now here's a snapshot of my previous video before I did the repair. After 20 minutes, the temperatures were around 211 Fahrenheit, way higher than they are now. So I fixed it indirectly, which is really weird. You ever fix something that you didn't know how exactly you fixed it, but it ended up working? If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that this video may help that owns a Sony XBR TV or is experienced similar issues where the TV turns off randomly, click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.